<clears throat> I know people have been curious to see how my stomach is, and um, it is kind of hard to get it on camera a bit here, um, but I'll try to get it on better camera tomorrow, but it's hurting pretty bad, um, so I don't know if there is a possibility that I am pregnant. I think there is a possibility that I might be going into labor soon, or I don't know if it could be like pre-labor symptoms, but... It really is um, painful, like my stomach. So I don't know if the stress also added to it too, but it's pretty bad. Oh. Okay, so I kind of got this light on it so I could show you guys that at night. I don't know why, but at night my stomach expands and it's like a pregnant stomach at night and it seems that that's how these cryptic pregnancies work is that at night you know my stomach will look fully pregnant my stomach feels swollen honestly my stomach right now feels like it's gonna explode basically um so pretty much um it it, it just is really really hurting lately um i don't know i feel like it feels tight something's going through to my back it hurts and it's Definitely, um, I think that there's a possibility that I'm getting close to eight or nine months, or I think I already am at that point of where I haven't had my period, and um, the doctors have not examined me or anything like that, but at night, yeah, this is how my stomach is, so um, I, I know people are curious. I just get very nervous, like, showing my stomach and stuff. Like, I just feel kind of like... I don't know, self-conscious at night, like, showing it, because, you know, my stomach's, like, usually, um, not like this, it's just at night, and I think that's when these cryptic pregnancies, you know, the alien-human hybrid babies get active, like, and stuff, and I think that's what happens, um, for those who are asking about my scar, um, let's see... It has gotten actually, let me see, darker in a way. Um, I, I don't know if I can get it good on camera, but yeah, it's kind of gotten darker, I guess. Um, yeah, so I lately, I, I don't know what's going on, guys, but my stomach just really does not feel good. So I don't know if something's about to happen. Um, I do know with the other pregnancies that I had, um with all the alien pregnancies, it always was, I would get the symptoms where for some reason, like even eating just a teeny weeny bit of food, I feel so full. I don't know why. Like, I just don't really feel an appetite. And then I know my stomach starts to hurt and it goes to my back. And that's what I'm feeling right now lately, like each night and kind of during the day, I'm noticing I'm not really having an appetite. And then I noticed I kind of got these other symptoms, like breakouts around my mouth and stuff, like weird breakout, um, like, you know, it's not, like, around my, like, lips, but, you know, the breakouts, just kind of different breakouts in different places, and just, I don't know, like, symptoms of possibly going into labor, so, um, I, I don't know what to do, guys, it's really kind of scary, it really, it really does hurt a lot, um, it, it's pretty painful, um, when I'm going through what I'm feeling, because I do remember I was beginning to feel feelings in my hips and stuff, and I know with cryptic pregnancies that, the, like, I guess the labor symptoms, they kind of come on a little, like, slower, too, or whatever. So, like, it's, it's like, I just know it's weird. Like, I had one day where I thought I lost, like, this plug thing. I think it's called mucus plug. I don't know. It's just really weird. I had to read all this stuff, like, once I learned all this pregnancy stuff that I didn't know about. So, like, yeah, guys, I don't know if I am pregnant. I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, but... There is a strong possibility. I mean, I think so, because, I mean, they have done this repeatedly and repeatedly for years and years. Have gotten me pregnant and have had me have these babies. Okay, I'm just a little bit scared right now, because... I'm in my tent, and I'm driving, somebody's driving by, so, it just kind of surprised me, it's kind of late, 
but oh well. Uh, anyway, so as I was saying, um, yeah, so this is usually how my stomach is at night. Um, it expands. Um, I am five foot four and I am, um, I am, how much am I? I am 170, like three pounds. Um, but I gone down to 168 from like all the stress these people have put me through and stuff that I gone down to that. But lately, um, I don't know how much I weigh lately because I haven't like, you know, gotten on a scale or anything like that. But I do know at night, this is what happens to my stomach. It's weird, <laughs> really weird. So, uh, yeah, I just want to share that real quick and, you know, put that on camera and share, you know, cause I know you guys have been curious. Um, so I really feel pain that's going through to my back. Um, I'm not really feeling like those cervix feelings, but I feel like my whole stomach, just kind of that whole stomach feeling that I felt before and I've gotten it, got into the labors before or whatever, but like, I don't know. It's just really weird. <laughs> so this is how my stomach looks at night. I just wanted to give you guys another angle. Um, it's pretty unbelievable. It's, uh, it feels like my stomach is gonna fucking explode. I'm not even playing. Like it feels like a watermelon's in it, and this it, it it's insane. I'm gonna show you guys my stomach in the morning. I'm gonna show you guys my normal stomach in the morning, and um, you guys will see that I am not, you know, here uh, playing with you. You know, um, it definitely is a cryptic um, pregnancy. These these cryptic pregnancies. Um, that these aliens have implanted me with, um, the baby's active at night, I've noticed, and I notice, like, it seems at night is when I feel everything, all the symptoms start, I get, like, headaches, all different kinds of symptoms, um, just tons of it, so, um, yeah, so I'm just trying to get the light on it and show you guys, um, yeah, my stomach is really, like, hurting lately it feels like i'm gonna go into labor soon um it's really really like wow so i don't know yeah anyways this pink cord's just like my headphones <laughs> it's now 4 a.m um there was a plane that just went by they're starting up at 4 a.m and that's what they is that this brown reptile like he tortures me during these pregnancies and um you know, every single baby has come out deformed and with a deformity or, um, birth defect due to, he has, um, had me gang stopped, poisoned, um, all these different things. And, um, you know, it's interesting also because he had, he, he has an obsession with making sure that I get no medication right now, even, um, blood pressure medication. So, um, you know, I can't even get, like, lisinopril or any blood pressure medication because, um, I remember having the baby, sorry, I'm having allergies right now, <laughs> I remember having the baby, and, um, I remember, basically, he, um, told me that the baby had defects, and it was from the blood pressure medication I was on and these other medications, so, like, pretty much, he doesn't want me to take any medication at all because he wants the baby to come out perfect. So he can do whatever to it or eat it or I, I, I don't know what they do, but they just take it away. And I know he takes it to like a back room. So I suspect that they're eating the babies and I suspect that the, um, it may be also being transferred to the dragon, but, um, you know, it's, it's just really fucked up. I mean, I was showing all my kids like 14 of my kids, it was like, I think about 14 or so or more, I, it was a lot of kids, and, you know, they had shown me all my kids on the ship, but, yeah, pretty much, it's, it's crazy, um, you know, all that had been done to me, and, um, it's taken me a lot to talk about it, but I know that I've heard other women have gone through the same thing, and, um, yeah, man, it, it's just been so tough out here, because, you know, I'm being constantly tracked by him. He's constantly flying over my head. I mean, I'm constantly being um, sprayed with chemtrails, you know, having sinus issues all the time from all the chemtrails they're putting out here. Um, even during the days when they when they spray a lot of chemtrails earlier, I had um, 
my chest was burning. It was like, oh my gosh. So, you know, they start, and I've even seen them spraying these chemtrails over my head at night. Um, I mean, it's insane. So I got to try to go back to sleep here because they're going to start up at about six o'clock with the loud, loud, loud planes or whatever time. I don't know. It's like 4 a.m. right now. It's like, oh my God. Like I never thought that they would ever go to this link to harass me, um, like this. It's just unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. And, um, you know, the brown reptile, he is the one that's like the one that's causing all the, the baby to have all the birth defects and all these issues due to all his harassment. He just will not stop. And it's just crazy. You know, one of the things I'm also noticing, I'm noticing that my hips are, um, starting to hurt. So I don't know if I'm possibly like starting to go into like early labor or something. It's weird. It's like that. And then my stomach feeling really weird. So I don't know what's going on. I have no idea, but it's strange. So guys, this is great. They actually are not flying the planes today, surprisingly, but I don't want to jinx it. But surprisingly this morning I was able to like, yeah, get back to sleep and they didn't start like early in the morning. So, um, I want to show you guys the difference of my stomach in the morning here. So as you can see, my stomach looks different in the morning. It's flat. It's like normal. You know, this is my stomach. So I will also show you guys the side angle as well. So, you know, right now it's kind of a little still bloated, but it's definitely like flatter in the morning. Yeah, like it's not like it was last night. So... Yeah, I just want to show you guys the difference there. So, my pregnancy definitely shows at night if I have, you know, the cryptic pregnancy. It definitely, like, my stomach expands at night and then in the morning all my, like, symptoms go away. I don't have, like, all that stomach pain and stuff. Um, I don't have all of that. So, my hormones have been terrible. Um, I don't know why, but... I feel extremely horny, and I don't know why. Something's definitely going off my hormones. <laughs> like, really, really, really bad. I don't know, like, what's going on, but, yeah. So, um, looks like it's a cloudier day, so there, uh, seems there, and I don't hear one of them, which is fucking interesting right now. Wow. Wow. If they're, if it's gonna stay like this today, this will be perfect and great. Oh my gosh, this will be a miracle. So I can finally just like cook something and have like peace and quiet. <laughs> so here is my normal stomach. It's like, you know, I just still have the stretch marks and stuff from the childbirth and all that and scar from my surgery. But yeah, in the morning, my stomach is normal. Hold on, I'm going to try to zoom the camera out here. Hold on. My stomach is like normal. It's not like all like that, you know? So I know you can't really like see my back kind of, but hold on. Ah. Yeah, like, this is my stomach in the morning. It's normal, you know? It's really weird. <laughs> You guys, this is incredible. I'm going to say for about a whole hour or so, I have not heard one of these planes. This is so weird. But, you know, the sun's locked out by kind of like a cloudy haze. It's kind of more clear over there. But, yeah, i seen one, like, kind of in the sky. But I don't know. This is interesting. Let's see what happens today. Oh, my God. I actually don't have to put my headphones on for a minute. Huh? So this is really weird. These planes have stopped. Like... Oh, I just heard a car go, I just heard a car, car drive by, but, um, the plane actually, I heard one, I think a little while ago, but they're being really quiet now. That's weird. Really weird. They're being really quiet now. Weird. <laughs> okay. So this is really interesting guys. They, um, <clears throat> right now, I'm only hearing them about every maybe 10 minutes and they're actually being quiet. They're actually kind of, well, that's usually what they would do is they'd still fly over my head, but they weren't like making all this super loud noise. So this is really interesting. Uh-oh, some, some food got stuck in my hair. Hold on. <laughs> that's why I was like touching it because it's like, oh no, like 
I just made these um mama's biscuits and they're good. I know I got them at the store and they're good. So I thought I would talk with you guys while I have my tea and talk with you guys a little bit more about um my experience in this um alien human hybrid breeding program. So um yeah, I'm just having some mint tea by the way cuz my stomach's been acting stupid so I have a little tea ball. Um yeah, so um basically with this whole experience, um this whole time that I've been in this alien human hybrid breeding program, I have not been able to have a relationship. I have not been able to have any relationship at all because um I believe strongly believe that this brown reptile from Orion who oversees all these um, pregnancies is harassing whoever tries to come towards me or whoever I try to date. So, um, if you guys are new to my channel and have not, um, been familiar with my videos, um, basically Brown Rep, I'm just going to call him Brown Rep, that's his name, that's what I'm going to call him now, um, for many years through my life I actually was abducted and forced to have children against my will. I was impregnated also against my will as well. And this started at the age of six years old. And um, Brown Rep has overseed the, um, basically the alien human hybrid pregnancy since the greys no longer were in control anymore. It then switched over to all your reptilian control. And that's what the brown reptile had explained to me, that the greys were no longer in control, and they were in control of everything now. Um, so, since then, I just remember being treated really bad. That's when all this really bad treatment started, and there were even more pregnancies. So, under Obama, I was made to have many children. Um, and under Bush's, pregnancy, uh, Bush, Bush's pre presidency, it all began. Um, and... Um, Starting as a child during the Clinton presidency, then I had, um, ended up having the child at six years old, um, and that was, it was shocking, you know, and I always knew that this stuff was being done to me, and I knew it was wrong, but I didn't know what I could do. I always knew that this was so illegal, so against the law, and so wrong, but I didn't know what I could do. I just knew that this was being done to me, and I knew that, okay... Who's going to believe me? You know, who's going to believe that these lizard people are taking me at night and getting me pregnant? Yeah. So under Obama, I um, had very many complicated pregnancies and stuff like that with these alien human hybrid babies and a lot of stuff going on. Um, and I'll definitely explain more about this, you know, alien human hybrid program and, and stuff I went through and how things work up there. Um, but yeah, basically I, um, was in a lot of pain through many of my pregnancies. The last in this last during this Trump, when this all started is when basically, um, my gang stalking really started to increase. Um, this gang stalking just began, yeah, in 2016, just about. And, um, that's when I had a very difficult childbirth and, um, the reptilians have caused me a lot of damage to my reproductive system, and I have not been treated for pain. I've not been, it, it hasn't been treated, basically, let's put it this way. It has not been treated at all. Um, they've caused many complications to my bladder, my uterus, and, like, cervix, and all these issues. And, um, you know, it's interesting, I had actually spoken to another woman, and um, she said she needed a full hysterectomy after what they had done. And, um, you know, but the, what they're doing is they're torturing me. They're making sure they know that I'm in pain, but they're making sure to make sure that the doctors deny me pain medication and that this is not treated. They will not treat what damage they have caused. And I'm going to tell you, I will be the first person to sue these reptilians, this galactic federation and this dragon, everybody who's overseen this, who's overseen this and who has done this. So as I was stating, the dragon and the brown rep are the main ones who are overseeing my, um, who, who've been overseeing my pregnancies. And I had a midwife, which during all of Obama's pregnancy, I had the same midwife, which was, um, this one woman. Um, and, uh, she took the form of this Dr. Greep at Westside, um, Family Health Center. Said That's when I had seen her. I was like, oh, wow, I remember her from the ship. Yeah. So she was at the Westside Family Health Center in Santa Monica in California. So, um, 
she actually was my midwife. And then somehow, I don't know how, Brown Rep ended up being playing as my midwife one day. And that's when all this damage was caused and this damage has been started. So I've been in pain for years untreated pain due to everything they have done to me and I'm sure there are other women who are who've been left in untreated pain and have had damage done to them as well yeah so to explain a little bit more of my pregnancies um you know pregnancy stuff um basically it was difficult um basically through the last pregnancies um I ended up mostly needing C-sections. Um, th the last, you know, few pregnancies, I needed either C-section or something. Something there was sometimes that I, yeah, I needed a C-section. The last childbirth, I did not, but some of them I needed a C-section. And um, due to the fact that I have a very, very small vagina, my vagina is like really small. So my vagina is so small it actually has caused me. Um, problems even in my sex life because uh basically it hurts to have sex if like it, it can be really painful to have sex because my vagina is so small let's just put it this way it can be really painful so basically like for me to even have sex like to have intercourse like a guy has to like basically like eat me out till I have an orgasm and it gets like really wet down there to even be able to even have like intercourse so that's why, like, it's been so hard to even, like, meet anybody to have sex or anything. Is that Cutie out here? Hey, is that you, Cutie? <laughs> Cutie. Oh, my gosh. Cutie's on my tent. <laughs> hey, Cutie. What's up, girl? <laughs> yeah. Cutie's on my tent. I can just see her shadow. So you might hear Cutie. She's above here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's making cute sounds. So, um... Yeah, pretty much, um, I had to have a C-section, and, um, I, I definitely did make the video about my C-section experiences, so, um, you know, I would definitely want to talk about if I am pregnant now, like, what I plan to do. Um, I definitely suspect that I am possibly pregnant, because, um, I haven't had my period in a long time, and, um, basically, like, ever since my last childbirth, which was very traumatic. Um, I had ended up bleeding after the childbirth for like weeks. And um, ever since that last childbirth, my periods were so heavy. And I was, it, it just was so bad. And it's been, it was been like that for years. And then that's why I went to get that explorative sur surgery to see if I had endometriosis. But by the time I had that surgery done, I realized, oh my God, like recently I hadn't had my period for a few months before I just had that exploratory surgery. And she said she didn't see anything. So I, I have no idea, man. It's so complicated, really complicated. And the thing about it is every single doctor is involved in this alien human hybrid, uh, breeding program. And they already have me marked on file. So when I basically go to any hospital or any doctor, I'm treated like crap because basically my control, my, um, healthcare is all reptilian controlled so it, it's it's crazy you know so everything everything that um basically gets done is um hidden from me like my medical records blood testings like that they'll, they'll hide the pregnancy from me and then I'm having all these symptoms this has been going on for my for so many fucking years dude and I have tons of medical bills because basically I have these symptoms of pregnancy like stomach pain and nausea, like all those different other, you know, the symptoms you get. And then, you know, the symptoms when you get into like close to labor or my stomach was hurting so bad. And then I, I go to the ER because I didn't know what's wrong. Like, I don't know what's wrong with my stomach. I don't know I'm pregnant. I have no idea what they're doing. So th these reptilians have caused so much bad shit in my life by doing all this and hiding these pregnancies from me and not telling me what the hell, um, you know, was that I'm pregnant, you know, they don't tell me, and basically, like, they'd never tell me, and then what happened is, boom, basically, I would just go into sudden labor, like, at any time, anywhere, and then, boom, I'd be just abducted right there, and I would, I would, like, basically not know, like, that I was pregnant, I, I, seriously, like, each time, due to the fact that they also, they did the thing to, you know, um, see, what was it, mind wipe, they used a the mind wipe device to, you know, make me forget, but, Part of me, deep down, always kind of still remembered. Same with the abductions. Like, I always, oh, I still, you know, knew those memories were there. So, um, 
You know, it's just a matter of basically, like, there comes a time where sometimes this mind wipe, I think that the mind wipe device has basically a certain time span of time before certain people wake up to the memories of these abductions. And I strongly believe that that, there's a possibility that that is what's going on. There's a strong possibility that, you know, people could come across my videos and see my experiences. And what will happen is they'll hear something that has happened to me and they'll realize, oh shit, that happened to me too. And that memory will push through the back of their subconscious mind and come forward. You know, and that is why these reptilians may be wanting to really kill me right now. And a lot of people may be really pissed off because there is an awakening process possibly going on where a lot of people are beginning to remember their abductions and remember what what has been done. Because this mind wipe device, really, mostly, I'm going to say it it works to only a certain extent. It, certain amount of time I think and I think it works in conjunction with as well as you know fluoridated toothpaste fluoride in the water um and pharmaceutical medications I strongly believe keep that like mind wipe going like especially you know part of this program that they do is they label women crazy so they put me on psychiatric medications starting at the age of 13 16 they put me on all these different kind of medications which uh doled out these memories they kept these memories in ch like away like and that's one of the things a big part of this alien human hybrid breeding program is they make sure to label women mentally ill and label women crazy and label women bipolar or schizophrenic or whatever so that when the woman comes forward with the story that she has been part of this alien human hybrid breeding program they can go ahead and say that would that's bullshit. That woman is psycho. She's crazy. She's got this mental illness. So what she says is nothing. You know? That that's that's how this program is working. That is definitely how this program is really working. It really is it's it's some it's some sick stuff out here, man. It's some sick stuff. So um yeah, so as for my plans, if I am um you know, going to labor, uh, the problem that gets hard is, you know, at night, I'm really starting to notice the symptoms in my thighs, where it gets painful to walk, um, and other different symptoms, I have not had too many of the, like, cervical pains, and other, like, uterine pains right now, but I know that I do have that period of time where I know my whole stomach begins to hurt, and that it's going through to my back, which I am beginning to notice at night, I don't know if it's, like, early, like, Braxton Hicks contractions, I had to kind of read about all this stuff to kind of learn about it, <laughs> you know, I'm not, like, a pregnancy expert or anything like that, but, um, yeah, so, um, I am going to be in Eagle County, I think, um, and maybe possibly have the baby here, if I, if I go into sudden labor, I mean, I don't know, if I go into sudden labor, I guess it's gonna be anywhere, as it usually has been, like, all these years, so, um, I don't know, but, um, I am, you know, trying to decide whether I want to keep my baby or not. You know, I don't know. I just know that the truth is that, honestly, I know I made my live and I, like, talked about, oh, I don't, you know, I don't really want to have any kids anymore. Basically, like, this whole program has basically traumatized me from, like, wanting to have kids of my own and traumatize me about kids a lot because of what they have done to me. It's really, it's, it's really caused a lot of trauma, a lot of trauma to me. So, you know, that's the hard thing. And, um, you know, I know that they want to take my baby away. I know that, I know the dragon and the, the brown rep, they, they definitely want to take the baby away. That's usually what they do, what they, you know, work to try to do. And, um, you know, I know that um, they definitely are mad that I'm not in California anymore because I think in California, I think that there's more laws that allow them to do the stuff that they were doing because ever since I left California, I no longer have had abductions. I no longer have had um, those, like, vivid, lucid type of dreams that were, it's like basically a dream where you can kind of feel. Sometimes I rarely do, but, um, you know, I'm not having any of those experience, experiences anymore like I did in California. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I just wanted to kind of share this a bit, you know, um, I, I, I don't know what's going on. I just know that, um, my stomach's been acting really weird at night, which usually seems to be how it goes. Like it gets weird at night and then my stomach's showing at night. So, um, 
yeah so anyways i just wanted to go ahead and share this and um you know next time i make uh, another video i'll to definitely talk more about you know this program and a little bit more about it and what i've been through um you know i i am just a little bit you know I, I, of course, am terrified if I'm going to go into labor because um, the last, pregnant, you know, labor being so traumatic and how much pain it is, how much it hurts. Um, I don't know if my body can, like, handle it one more time because, honestly, like, this reptile has made me have babies back to back. Like, back to back, not even a break between. And this is why this is starting to become crypt cryptic pregnancies because when you impregnate after just having a baby... Basically, that can cause the next pregnancy to take a very long time to develop and grow. And um, I also have some hormone issue at PCOS. So I had been diagnosed with that as a teenager. And um, yeah, so um, I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated on my symptoms and on my stomach because I know everybody's been kind of... Uh, well, not everybody, but I've been getting, you know, a lot of people in my, like, live streams are, like, curious about my stomach and how my stomach is doing all that, so I want to finally come out with this today. I don't know what, uh, I don't know if Daywave Radio is going to take the picture of my stomach and put Google eyes on it again, a cookie monster or something like that, and, and you know, oh, my belly button's weird or whatever, you know, I just took the chance today, I know it's a little embarrassing to me, but, hey, I'm just taking the chance, you know, whatever, <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so, uh, just want to share that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and finish my tea up here and, um, get my day started. And, um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, I would like to know if you guys, uh, what do you guys know about cryptic pregnancies? Do you guys know anything about cryptic pregnancy? And, um, what do you guys think of all this? Uh, let me know. Because, uh, you know, one thing I really notice, and I'm getting really a little nervous for, is, um, when the moon starts to come. So basically, like, starting from the new moon to the full moon, it seems that each day, like, my symptoms increase and increase and increase more. And I'll even sometimes feel almost like I'm almost going into labor or something like that. It's weird. I don't know. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, just want to share this video. I hope you guys all have a really good day. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you later on. <laughs> I seriously thought today was gonna be different i like the way this day started off i was like oh it's gonna be all quiet and like yeah well at least they let me sleep in till nine o'clock like kind of sleep a little late you know at least they let that happen so <laughs> yeah another thing i wanted to add if i say some really bad things about this brown reptile brown rep Alpha Theton, Orion, whatever, whatever he is, it's because he's done so much bad shit to me, like severely, severely bad shit to me that I just kind of go off of it. So, and he continues to still do all this stuff. It's all being done. So, um, yeah, <laughs> just wanted to add that just so you guys know, like, you know, I know I called him some dirty brown reptile and shit like this and all this because I, I, he's really evil, really, really, really evil. I also wanted to add, hey guys, let me know in the comments, like, what, um, things you're curious about, or, um, also my email, alienabductionawareness at gmail.com, you could also email me, um, if you guys have any requests of, like, videos, uh, you want me to make, or, like, topics you want me to talk about, or, um, you know, any more questions, or anything like that, just let me know in the comments, like, if you have any other questions. All right, thank you!